Hi beautiful fantastic people. Today we are not on a tennis court or in the kitchen cooking. Um, today's message is very brief for every parent, especially African parent. If you see your children interested in anything, anything at all, please support them. Yes. Or you see them developing any interest in anything, please support them. It can be sports, it can be academics, it can be crochet like anything drawing encourage them i'm saying this because a lot of african parents decide what they want their children to do and that is not right i'll use serena in venice as an example if you check their history you might think their dad is gonna kill them like all their hard work and everything but see where they are now it's so beautiful it's, it's just so beautiful what they've achieved for themselves Whenever they're talking, they have to mention their parents' name because they 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 are a huge part of their journey. I'll use myself as an example too. I didn't start tennis because my parents wanted me to start. Neither would I say I started tennis because I wanted to start. We just passed by the tennis court. I saw my neighbors playing, one of my neighbors playing. She's like way older than me, but I was like, you know, this is so beautiful. I just my dad always dropped me there. I had to even change my school. I was attending Gomomai. Uh, yes, Gomomai. I had to change my school to university practice, which is close to the tennis court in Winneba. Just because of that, my, my dad always, although I was a child, I was just like eight or nine years. But no, my dad always dropped me to the tennis court. Although I don't play, I just run around with my long hair. I used to have a pretty hair. When people touch it, I don't stop crying. <laughs> but yes, he encouraged me. He's always there with me. Although during holidays that there are tournaments, I don't go. I just go to the village, you know, and enjoy the Christmas food and all that. But no, when I was nine years, I went to play a tournament and I got to quarterfinals. I got strings and balls. I was so happy. Yeah, that is how my tennis journey started. And it's been amazing since then. If you check almost all the big higher rank uh, athletes, their parents were there for them. Their parents were there for them. You have to always encourage your children. Not every child has the brain to become a doctor or something. But even drawing, people earn more than being a doctor. So today's message is this short. Encourage your children, please parents encourage your children in anything they want to do don't bring them down like me example when i started tennis my uncles and aunties were like we're just telling my parents to not to let me play they're like the child has to stop playing the sport and start playing like going to school my parents never listen to them they always come at them especially my mom's side they're like she has to start studying stop playing the sport because it's taking meanwhile they don't even see my terminal report to see the other uh, day i was like that you know but they don't see my terminal report to see if i'm doing good academically and doing the same thing here no they are just focused on she has to stop and i'm a parent schedule and no this is what the kid loves they always hey i can't go school now but no my parents are like they didn't even mind them but there was one uncle of mine he was a teacher and you know how ghana ghana schools like every textbook the whole country will use the same book the same textbook yeah so my picture was behind this PE book and my uncle saw it he was so happy because he was the only person that supported like he was so proud of me that just a book a cover of a book and now see me i had a college scholarship full red although i'm not like there, there but you know i got full scholarship to go to school my parents are not paying school fees my siblings are all playing tennis my brother is on scholarship in lego and my other siblings are like national players they are, they are very good so just encourage your children at least for their happiness in my opinion as a parent if you want your children to do something you have to advise them on it you don't decide for them like hey you have to do this if you don't do this, I won't do this for you. Don't threaten them. Leave them. Give them their heart. Like, be open to them. To do, for them to do whatever they want to do. 
Please. <laughs> don't be straight on them like, okay, if you don't do this, I'm not gonna do this for you. You're gonna be on your own. That is not right. In my opinion, if you want your children to do this, you have to advise them, okay, this is what you want, I want you to do. Or I think this is not right. This is the reason why. Or you can go do this, but these are the pros and these are the cons of that. Don't just be be straight on them and be involved in whatever if your child knows how to draw and they are interested in it. Let them go to school and encourage them. That's your talent. And you can't just sit down and your talent is, is, is going to start like working for you. You have to practice on it, like work on your talent. Don't let people's God-given talent go waste just like that encourage them you see you see venice serena is it not beautiful to you it is and i'm sure every parent want their children to be like that like my host family here all their kids are involved in sport and it's so beautiful that their parents are always there to watch their matches they are always there and they make sure they go for practice if they play different sport they are gonna manage their time. Okay, today you do this, the next day you do this. They are always there for the children. And one of them desire, okay, I don't wanna do this sport, I want to do this sport. Their parents never said, okay, you wasted my time here. No, they supported the child. For the child to go to the uh, start the other sport. This is what we're talking about. Be there for the, you need to set an example for your children to follow because if you are very very harsh on your children and they are gonna do the same thing to your children because they may think it's right involve let your children be involved sitting in class is not even healthy sitting in class all the time is not even healthy for your children your brain not working by just in class is not good at least they are doing this they're involved in church activities they love to do they can be involved in church activities they love to do singing anything at all you encourage them please and i'm not saying that okay you if you're not or you're not interested in anything and you just want to be, be in school it's bad i mean every parent you have to support your children in anything they do either in class out of class anything but in my opinion i think every child should you know participate in sport at least one you can decide when you want to but if they love it just let them do it don't fold them in the room Be like no go and sit behind your book and do it hmm? all my classmates know my shak 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 well <laughs> sorry but no it's just the truth it's just the truth hmm? if they are good business-minded people you just let them go to school, do the business, and help them how to be. Maybe, okay, I'll give you this. You need to save this. You are teaching the children how to be great business minded. Mm -hmm. Because now you will open that. So you will help them, you groom them as they are growing up. So, you know, no, no. please, this is a click for me to you all as an athlete. Thank you. And thank you for sticking with me, although we are not a tennis court. I dropped my first tennis vlog. Go check it out. It's on my channel. Thank you. Again, encourage your children. Encourage your sisters. Encourage your siblings. Encourage anyone who is interested in anything or who is very good in anything. Please, don't bring them down. At least, even if you're, you don't want to help them, just don't bring your spirit down. Don't bring your spirit down. Just help them. Help them. Thank you.